All right, I'm standing here with Randy. Hi, Randy. Hi, Randy. Say <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be sure and say hi to everyone. And Deb and I were here at the campground, and uh, we noticed this uh, cargo trailer that was pulled in not too far up from us, from where we are. And we've gotten to know the park attendants fairly well here, and they came up to see us right quick, and they said, hey, 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 there's some folks up in a cargo trailer conversion just up from you, and they told us that they watch all your videos. That's right. Yeah, and that just tickles Deb and I to death to hear yeah. that, and we really appreciate that. And we appreciate all you guys out there that watch all of our videos. But uh, this trailer here, now you haven't had this very long, right? No, we've had it roughly three to four months. Okay. And, of course, when you got it, it was a typical cargo trailer. Yeah, right? just bare bones. And one of the first things you did was put a mini split on it, I'm assuming. Yes. yes. And tell us a little bit about that right quick. So it's the 1800 uh, split heat and air. Um, got a gentleman that uh, is a good friend of mine that does heat and air for a living and he talked me into it because we were going to put the rooftop in just the standard 13.5 and with this thing here he said you won't go wrong you can freeze yourself out or cook yourself out either way you want to do it and 10 year warranty they we don't touch nothing so there you and go. his father was a engineer and a welder so he built the bracket for us um, eventually hopefully if we can try to put a spare tire bracket with inside there so we can keep our spare tire outside the trailer instead of inside taking up space that'll be nice when you can do that yep. what but let me ask you this they sure are loud aren't they i can't even hear myself <laughs> think right now <laughs> and, and with, that's running full blast um we're sitting roughly 84 85 degrees outside right now and inside here at 65. yeah yeah same with us yep. <laughs> we, actually we keep ours around 65 or so on the inside yep and uh we're kind of spoiled i guess yeah. you know but uh yeah it looks real nice the way it came out here now this is a seven by 16 is that correct yes sir do you know what the height is the ceiling height is on it uh, i believe it's six six maybe okay. that looks about right yeah do you happen to know how much it weighs or you have an idea i, I do not that's fine. Um, just standard hallmark we haven't put a whole lot inside um we'll show you the inside here in a moment sure. but there's there's no interior walls. It's just pretty much bare bone. The only thing we've added is just the bare necessities because when we're camping, we are outside. So right. this is a tent on wheels. Exactly. And that was real neat when I looked at it the other day when we first met. Uh, you showed me how you just basically, uh, you got a few things off of uh, Facebook Marketplace. Yep. You made some good deals yep. on a couple of things. And basically what you did to make this ready to go camping is just you took a few things from the house yep. and things like that, which we're going to talk about when we get inside. But this is the whole idea about showing everybody this particular setup because it doesn't take long to, if you, you know, end up with the right kind of stuff. It doesn't take long to put something together so you can no. take the family camping. That's right. And speaking of the family, where are they at right now? <laughs> They're at the swim beach there with everybody go. else. We yeah. are in a, a holiday weekend, so it's, it's pretty crowded. So we went down early to claim our absolutely our spot I, I hear you i've been down that road many times now i see that this is also uh, a screwless exterior yes and i really like the looks of a screwless exterior it's you know. very clean inside and out mm -hmm. it really makes easy a big to difference. wash easy to maintain absolutely and white's a good color i mean yeah now you were telling me a while ago something that you did to the to the roof you did do that we did rubber seal the roof uh just insulation so sun metal it's going to get hot so with that white coloring it reflects a lot of that heat that's coming off of it and it's also easier to keep clean so as you can see here in arkansas a lot of trees a lot of tree sap so when we leave here we'll run through a, a semi truck wash and rinse off the roof just to make sure it's clean and try to keep the mold and mildew off from the trees tree right. sap. and this product that you used on it you got it at lowe's Yes, got I, it at Lowe's. I don't um, know the name of it offhand. Do you remember the name at I, all? I do not. I want to. I think it was by Kills. The same people do the Kills paint. Okay. But uh, we do have some friends that have the same trailer, and he was wanting to do his roof, so we got a five-gallon bucket, not knowing how much it would take to do both of them. And literally, both trailers have four coats on the roof, and we didn't use half of the five gallons. Wow. So. Yeah. And you're only, they only say to do two coats, but you guys went overboard and did four just to be on just, the safe just side. Just a little bit of overachievers. <laughs> yeah. You, you can never have too much uh, safety precautions. Yeah. Now, what are you doing for power right now? Uh, uh, 30 amp. Uh-huh. Um, with the split unit, it draws less than 7 amps. So 
your typical household hair dryer is going to pull more amperage than what this split unit does. Absolutely. So even at home, we plug into a 110. So on the other side, do you have a regular 30 amp RV style power inlet coming in for I now? I do not. Mine runs through the floor okay. um, because we just purchased a trailer, so there are a lot of things that we want to do to it. It did come already pre-wired with a circuit box. Wow. So. Well, as we look on the inside, you'll be able to see it's kind of located in a bad spot for us because we want to move it more towards either the middle or the back of the trailer because it's right up here in the front. Okay. So all of our plumbing for electric and heat and air and everything is right here in the front of the trailer. All righty. All righty. Well, are you ready to go inside? Yep. And one other oh, feature we did add, a handle. <laughs> just, just a little step. Sometimes wet water, moisture, it can be a little dicey. So... The handle to me is a must, just a safety thing. I totally agree. And then you've got a really another really neat feature that we're going to add on ours. You want to show us that right quick? Yes. You never know when you're going to run into Bill. <laughs> and there's your doorbell. <laughs> cool. Now is that basically just a, a door ringer, or, or is it a uh, one of those that uh, have a video camera on it? No, it's just a normal door ringer. Got you. Amazon 9.99. Oh yeah, yeah, but it's just uh, that's a whole lot better to get a bell like that than someone banging on your door. Yes, that's all there is to it. Yeah. Yes. All right. Shall we go inside? Yes. Since we're standing here, I'll let you lead the way. So once again, not much. We did add the little magnet net just for those nice days when you want to have the door open. Let me pull the door shut for now, though. Okay. So you haven't pulled the. Uh, the paneling off the wall so you haven't put any insulation in it is that correct not in the walls right though. so you just did us something quick to get you going just, for now just to get out out of the house this is literally it took us three days to see what you see in here wow well let me do a quick sweep around here of course there's the uh the air handler for the mini split oh and i see your i see where they had the uh, box here yeah yeah and did you just turn those lights on yes and that's just regular rope light just once again amazon just rope yeah. lights that way at night if you want to dim your lights watch tv but you can still see to get up and move and have enough ambient lighting i guess well i think it's, uh, it brightens it up a lot in here it mm -hmm. makes a huge difference on it that's for sure and i noticed that this is this the way it came from the from yes. the manufacturer yes wow they did a and I like the way, you know, you've got your curve right here. Yeah, because I was like, going to put the lights in behind that, but then again, I'd have, it wouldn't be as bright. Exactly, exactly. Well, it sure makes a difference when you turn those lights, that, that, that rope light on. Yeah. And I'm assuming these are the lights that came with the trailer. Yes. When you got it yes. right here too. All the lights up here on, all I added was the rope lights. Um, and then we did add some one by fours on the side just so we have something else to mount down in. So everything is attached to these. Uh, the refrigerator as well. Our little cabinet or homemade storage unit that we made out of a, a dresser that our neighbor was getting rid of that the kids had taken some Crayolas all over to and magic markers. So <laughs> I sanded it down, spray painted it and silverware, cooking utensils. Um, never have too many tools, so some tools in the bottom just for Oh yeah, keep absolutely, safe. absolutely. And this is just a standard, uh, you standard know, shelf you shelf can get at Walmart yeah. for 19 dollars mm -hmm. We're not sure what we want to do, so like I said, we just kind of slap things together. So fishing rods, and we both have a storage shed or storage bin for clothing. Mm -hmm. um, containers underneath the uh, bed for anything that you want to take camping. We've got cookware, we've got swim uh, toys, just anything you can think of. Um, as you mentioned on Marketplace, found the mechanical bed frame. A lady had back surgery yeah. and thought it would help her and it, it did not. So she said, if you want it, come get it. So that was a, a free find. It, like I said, everything in here outside of the refrigerator, we did not buy. Show us, the, while we're talking about the bed, <laughs> go ahead and show us uh, the way this thing works. It's just a electrical uh, lift bed, full size household queen size bed. And that makes it really nice for watching TV too. Yeah. I, when Deb sees this, you know what's going to happen. <laughs> you know. I, thank you, or I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sure. 
<laughs> well, right now it'd be I'm sorry, but after I <laughs> after I get something like that put together, yeah. then it'll be thank you after that. Yeah. And then of course you've got an excellent bargain on this refrigerator, yes. and the style looks kind of familiar. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> just a uh, seven five got it at Lowe's originally, but uh, this is another Facebook Marketplace find, uh, hundred dollar bill. Um, some shell the. Uh, cubicle shelving is what we had uh, in a house in one of the kids room they moved out went to college so the room just kind of sitting vacant so we thought you don't know what we can get it we can put a little bit of groceries or we can put cups we can put whatever we want to inside here just you can never have too much storage you oh, never yeah. know who's going to show up at the campsite you don't have enough to, to serve everybody yeah and what what are we having tonight for dinner <laughs> uh we're having burgers and brats <laughs> all right we'll be ready about seven my o'clock. favorite <laughs> they're thawing out now <laughs> Well, uh, this fridge for a hundred bucks, that is a real bargain. Uh, that's just like the one Deb and I have. We got the mm -hmm. one that's an X size larger yeah. because we live full time, you know, and we got to, you know, Deb wants to be able to keep it stocked and, but we just love that fridge. Yeah. And you guys are going to love this one as well. We were afraid that it was going to be too small and we put everything we wanted to put in there and it wasn't even half full. We're like, well, what else can we throw in there? So, yeah, I understand. I understand. Yeah. And you got a coffee, is that a coffee pot? Yep, Keurig sure. coffee pot, mm -hmm. K-Cups. Um, you never know when the weather may turn on you, so I did put some extra boarding up on the side to kind of hold the TV mount. And then that way, if it's raining, we can bring our bag chairs inside, watch TV, and not have to worry about laying on the bed. Right. And you're using a standard antenna right now, or, or how, how are you getting a signal? Uh, just DVD or Bluetooth through a phone. Oh, okay, yeah. And and we've done that too. Yep. Before. For um, sure. The plans are eventually to get the dish ball, and that way we can have internet and TV. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That would be great. And I know you just kind of put something together real quick, but mm -hmm. what, what, what? Tell us about this flooring. So here. the flooring was in it when we purchased it, and it is actually a rubber backing uh, vinyl flooring. Oh yeah, I remember seeing this stuff when I was in the in the. Yep. in the business of flooring because i thought i would kind of pull it up and maybe run a, an extension cord so we wouldn't trip on it but it's been glued down so for now it's great it's easy to clean easy to sweep out um i am going to add electrical outlets on that side of the trailer because we do not have them so i had to put a strip bar over there and then i've just got the cord right underneath the bed to this side okay so i do have two or three outlets on this side and then of course i know a lot of people ask this now it's as far as showers and stuff like that you're using the campground facilities yes. right now yes for, until yes you know at least for now but there are those emergencies now and then there you is know what i'm talking and, about and the wife uh does not like to get up and leave the camper at night by herself and i do not like to get up and have to escort her to the restroom so we did put a marine toilet in the front for her um she has her own little private curtain for privacy mm -hmm. um and of course, what would a trailer be without a mirror? Because you know how the women like to be pretty. Oh, but oh, so <laughs> I wish I would have known you was getting ready to do that. I would have sucked it in a lot better. <laughs> so it, they, they have to be stylish and also kind of gives her privacy if she wants to be uh, closed off. Yeah. Um, but yeah. But now, the, of course, this is where your 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 refrigeration lines and, and electric yes. lines come in yes. to the air handler here. Did you fabricate that yourself or? So the gentleman that installed it, once again, his dad was a, uh, he's a retired engineer and a welder and metal fiber and he customized that for us. Well, that looks really sharp. Yeah. Really nice. It's, and it's also very durable. So uh, we're also uh, in the plans of a motorcycle. So if anything ever gets in here and rolls around or accidentally comes loose, it hits a refrigerator lines, they're protected. There you go. There you go. Fantastic idea. Um, Plans are, as you mentioned, uh, shower, camp shower, eventually uh, putting a single stall shower over here, doing the coil over axles like we've seen on some of your videos from other, some of your viewers, right. and putting the holding tanks up underneath the, the trailer. Yeah, so you can have that extra clearance to do that. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Um, the frame on the bottom is rubber coated, rubber sealed. Wow. So nothing's exposed. There's no raw metal underneath the trailer whatsoever. Everything's been coated. Everything's. Uh, I guess has that rubber coating lining like uh, the tough rhino that you put in the uh, bed of a pickup yeah but that was all done from the factory from hallmark fantastic well that's a big that's a big plus there absolutely for sure now the flooring i noticed uh what is this is that uh, looks like that coin yep the rubber matting mm -hmm. now is it uh, that's the what's underneath the bed 
Yeah, it's yeah. is it in a full sheet? Is it sheet goods? No, it's just the square puzzles. Okay. Yeah, because um, I've seen that in sheet goods as well. Yeah, we uh -huh. we did purchase the trailer used. Um, the gentleman bought it for a side by side. He moved the side by side about five miles down the road and decided he wanted a bigger one. So we got very fortunate that we we found this. Well, and you've turned it into a really really nice camper for the family. Mm -hmm. Are you enjoying yourselves this weekend? Yes. Fantastic. Yes. Uh, the kids and grandkids just showed up, so gonna have a few more days of sun and fun. Yeah. And we'll get to see you for a couple more days because you're going to be here for, uh, well, I'm not going to say what day you're leaving. I'm not even going to say <laughs> where we are. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we, we're looking forward to at least waving at you when we go by, yeah. you know, or vice versa. But anyway, Randy, thank you so much yes, for sir, taking the pleasure. time to show us uh, what you've got going here. And the whole idea, like I say, is you don't have to go elaborate, folks. It doesn't take really very much at all to get set up where you can take the family out for a nice weekend of camping no nope, not at all yeah yeah so anyway we're going to go ahead and let you go for now this is bill and randy and say we'll see you again soon see you again soon all righty bye-bye now bye-bye right,